Okay, in this tutorial, we're going to show you how to actually create your listing on VRLBI. Once you log into your dashboard, on the menu on the left-hand side, you want to go to the Listings menu. Click on the drop-down, and you'll notice a, an option for Manage Listings. Click on that, and most of you will have just one listing. I happen to have two listings because I have a duplex. Uh, click, and then once you see your listing here on the right-hand side, you have your options. The little pencil is Edit, so I'm going to edit this first listing that I have by clicking on the pencil and it brings me into my actual listing. Okay, The first field you need to fill out is property type. If your house is a house, you select house. If your house is a condo, you select condo. If your house is a duplex or a townhouse, you select duplex or townhouse. The next field title is what your title is going to show in the search results when your property comes up. You're limited how many characters you can put here, so be creative and highlight the most important things about your property. If you need to abbreviate, that's fine. It'll tell you how many characters you have less. The next field is a summary field. This is a little bit longer than the title, but also should highlight what the key features are of your property so that when it shows up in search results and people click on it, they can view a summary of what your property has to offer. The next field is description. This is where you get to put in a lot of information. If you scroll down through this box, you see I have a bunch of content in here. This is where you want to spend the time and really fully describe the vacation rental that you're offering. The next box is keywords. These are words that are important in search that people could possibly be searching on Google that might find your property. So you can see some general ones that I have here and one that I've forgotten that I want to add and I recommend you do this too. If you have a property name for your property for your vacation rental, put that in. Ours is called Shamrock by the Sea. If I type that in, hit enter, I just added that as a keyword. So hopefully if people search Shamrock by the Sea, your, my listing on VRLBI should show up in the search results. Multiple units listing, just leave this as no. Okay, this is for hotels and we're not using hotels, these are vacation rentals. Number of bedrooms, this is important. How many bedrooms does your rental have? Just type in the number. If it's four, it's four. If it's three, it's three. Sleeps, this is the maximum number of people that you want to sleep in your rental. So put in the maximum, in our case it's seven. Maximum adults and children. Well, obviously, the maximum adults could be seven since you sleep seven. So enter that there. And the maximum number of kids, you can leave that at zero. Or if you want to change it to maybe five, figuring it should be two adults and then five kids to equal seven, that would make sense as well. So you can customize these however you want to control your property. Number of bathrooms. These are full bathrooms. So we have two full baths, meaning they have showers or tubs. Number of half bathrooms, we have one half bath, put that there. If you want to put the square foot of your unit in, you can. And obviously, you want your listing status to be active, not inactive. When you're done with this information, hit save. You'll now move on to the next section in building your listing, which is the location, which is very important. Now, I've already done mine, but we're going to go through the exercise so you guys can see how it's done as well. Um, Long Beach Island, if you click on this icon, it's choose a region, which is what you'll see in the beginning. So obviously, we're on Long Beach Island. Number two, choose the city. We've pre-populated this with most of the cities or the sections of Long Beach Island that your property can be in. In our case, mine's in Ship Bottom. It'll automatically update the longitude and latitude for Ship Bottom, but it's not exactly on where my property is yet. So to get to where my property is, we have to search the location. Here, you should put in your exact property address, which mine is, each, is 123 East 7th Street in Ship Bottom. When you put that in in search, it's going to come up with search results and it found one. When I click on this, it's automatically going to add the longitude and latitude to my exact property. Now, the zoom level here, right now it's at 7, so it shows the whole state of New Jersey. I'm going to want to go into about 18. If I put 18 in and click on the gray area, you'll see I'm zoomed right in on a particular house right now. And this is um, the map view, but if you want to hit the satellite view to see what your house looks like, you can click on that. You can even click on the plus button over here to maximize it to make sure that you have your house in this listing. And what's really nice about our platform, you can take this pin marker and you can move it around. So let's say it did show up over here by accident. You can move it right to your house. And in my case, I have a front and back duplex. I'm going to put this on the front of the duplex because I also have a listing for the back. This way I'll be able to add one for the back too when I enter my other listing. So now that that's complete, I want to save this. Um, we can also type in your address, which should be 123 East 7th Street, Ship Bottom, the zip code, 
and additional location information I just put in uh, ship bottom here but you can put in more information there if you want like it's the third from the beach 43 steps to the beach walkway or whatever if you want to add directions to get to your property you can do that too is a car essential yes or no and then hit save now your location information has been saved for your location and when somebody goes to search VRLBI in Long Beach Island they'll find you if they then drill down to the sp specific towns of ship bottom they will find you just in ship bottom as well okay and that's where your map will look like um, with this default zoom level of 20 and you can change this if you don't want it that zoomed in change it to 16 and it'll show where you are in relation to other locations on the island so that completes this section. Now we're going to move into distances, okay? Here, you can put in stuff like what is the nearest airport. So we can put in like Philadelphia, okay? And how far away is Philadelphia? How many, how many miles? I'm not exactly sure, but I'm going to guess it's probably about 60 miles away from LBI. What is the nearest golf course? What is the nearest bar? The nearest restaurant? Nearest beach? Okay, in my case, it's 7th Street. How far away is it? What are my options? I can do miles or minutes. I can do miles. I'm going to put that at 0.1, tenth of a mile. It's not even that far. 0 0.05 of a mile. And that just will show up in your listing so people have an idea of, of where things are in relation to your property. Once you're finished with all this, hit save. Now, we're going to move into the next section, which is going to be listing details. Okay, Here's just check marks. It's pretty easy to go through these. First and foremost is location type, and we all know on LBI this is important. Are you on the ocean block? Are you ocean side? Are you bay side? Do you have an ocean view? Do you have a beach view? Are you ocean front? Are you bay front? So it's okay to select multiple ones, like in my case, I am ocean side, I am ocean block, I do have an ocean view, and I do have a beach view. So I selected all of those. I'm not ocean front, I'm not bay side, and I'm not bay front, so those I left unchecked. That will help people in their search if they're looking for only Oceanfront properties, that's all they'll return. If they're looking for only bayfront properties, then only your property would return. The themes are the types of vacations that your rental is good for. Beach vacations, family vacations, girls weekend, or romantic getaways. Just check whichever ones are appropriate to your rental. Bedroom options. This is where you'll specify what type of beds you have. So we all have different combinations. So just go through and put the number for what beds you have. If you have more than one, if you have two queen beds, just put two in there. In my case, I don't. I have one queen, one king, one twin, and one full. Bathroom options. How many half baths do you have? How many jetted tubs, if you have any? How many outdoor showers are on the property? How many walk-in showers? And how many tub-shower combinations do you have? Some people want houses with tubs, so they have kids to be able to take baths in, so that's important. Access. Does your house have any special access considerations, like an elevator, stairs, Keyless entry, do you offer keyless entry to your gifts? A lift to get people up to the second floor. And is it wheelchair accessible? If your property is located on the MLS, you can put that listing here. Um, if you have parking, how many parking, how many parking spaces do you have? And what type of parking is it? In our case, we have two spaces and they are off street. Um, energy, if you have a high efficiency property, you can select that. You can give some more details here, but that's purely optional. Remember, any of these fields are optional. It's only the fields with the asterisks that are uh, required. Hit save. Again, you'll start at the top of your listing. Just scroll down. Now we're going to go into the entertainment section. Okay, Here is a bunch of just general amenities that vacation rental properties have. Just simply go through each one and just click off the ones that are applicable to your property. You can also check all or uncheck all if you have most of them and then just manually go in and check some off. I'll show you how to do that here since I have all these amenities except for the hot tub. I actually have the rooftop deck too. So if I check on check all, then I only have to uncheck the hot tub because I have everything else. Indoor features, same thing as the ones above. These are features that are primarily found inside your rental. Go through and check off all the ones that apply. Outdoor features. These are things that are outside your rental on your on your property. So if you have picnic tables or if you have a pool, if you have a balcony, beach badges, any of these things that you offer or have, just select the ones so that people can find those. Local activities and adventures. Here are the different activities that people can do while they're renting your vacation rental from you. Obviously, I'd say select more than less so that people searching for water tubing you know, can stay at your house and go water tubing. Um, nearby attractions. Um, I've gone through and set up 
what I think are the distances to the local attractions um, for my place in Ship Bottom. So obviously amusement parks, I'm thinking Fantasy Island's nine miles away. Boardwalk being, I guess, uh, probably Seaside is the closest, 20 miles away. Cinema's on the mainland, five miles away. So you don't have to fill this out, but if you do, it just helps your guests know where local things are. Services, if you offer any special services, such as laundry services, linens provided, select those options here. And remember when you're done with this section, hit save, just so that all those changes are saved before you move on to the next step. Scrolling down, since we finished all of our services now, you have your policies. Now this is a military time, so this is check-in is at 2 p.m., check-out is at 11 a.m. You can select this to however you wish. If you have any additional policy you need to add, you can add that here. Terms and conditions, this is where you can add your cancellation policy. Okay, What type of payment terms do you offer? In my case, I take cash and checks. So to highlight one, you just highlight it. To highlight more than one, you have to hold down your control key on your keyboard and then select the other one. So again, if you just click on one, only one's going to show up. So select cash, hold your control down, and hit checks, and now you selected both. Here's where you can enter your security deposit. In my case, we collect a $500 refundable security deposit. Now you come into suitability. These options are other things people can search for. Do you do long-term rentals? Is it suitable for children? Is it suitable for the elderly or the infirm? Are you wheelchair accessible? In this case, I'm yes. Do you accept pets, and are you smoking or non-smoking? And if you need to give more description about your suitability, you can add that field here. Search engine optimization. This is where you can enter some stuff that will help your property be found in search. So again, like we did before, Shamrock by the Sea is what people might search for my property, and that's what I want to add here. If you want to add an SEO description, this can be about your vacation rental property, you know, a couple sentences about it, and then keywords again, like above, you can add some keywords here to help in your search. If you want to add any additional notes, you can add those here as well. When you're all done with this, you want to go to uh, save, and again, your options at the bottom here, I'm going to scroll down, are either back to list or go to the next step, which is photos and videos. So since we're all done building our listing, I'm going to click photos and videos, and then you should watch the video uh, that we're going to post on how to manage your pictures. And that will end this tutorial on how to set up your basic listing.